Hello and welcome to Letters and Numbers. I'm Richard Moorcroft. We are off and racing to get into the games tonight, so let's meet the rest of the team. First of all, the mathematician who's got the right angle on geometry, Lily Cerner. Hi, Richard. Hello, Lily. Now, as a mathematician, do you put a little bet on the horses? Well, as you might expect, I take a quite a rational approach to it. Um, usually the expected payoff is negative, so I don't don't usually go into it. But today I was feeling extra radical and put five dollars in. Oh, big punter. <laughs> well, welcome, Lily. And the man who helps us come to terms with terms, David Astall. Hi, Richard. You're not really a betting man, but you love card. the Melbourne Cup. I you? love the Melbourne Cup uh, purely because there's a, the prospect of a horse with an unusual or unique name that may win, and that automatically gives me one more word or name to play with in a crossword. Oh, so you can actually use that that winning name as a crossword puzzle clue. Well, that's Sorry, right. They've now entered Australian folklore once they win, and in fact, I'm still on cloud nine when Art to Luck won it all those years ago because it ended with a Q. <laughs> Very nice. And now to introduce the other essential ingredients of the show. First up, our carryover champion, back for his fourth night, Ian Campbell Fraser, a native title lawyer and public servant. Welcome back, Ian. Thank you, Richard. Tell us a little about your native title uh, legal work. It sounds very interesting. It is. At the moment, I'm working for an organisation called the National Native Title Tribunal, and our main job is to help Aboriginal claimant groups and uh, governments and farmers and miners come together and reach an agreement about uh, Aboriginal native title rights. Excellent work. Good luck tonight. Great to see you back. So much and for a ready to challenge, Ian, is Catherine Jones, a geotechnical engineer with a Bachelor of Arts and a degree in engineering. Welcome tonight. Thanks very much. Tell us a little bit about uh, your inclination towards geotechnical Slow engineering. Down. Well, when I started uni, I decided that I wanted to go study engineering and build bridges, and I got two years into it, and structural engineering really wasn't for me. And then they started talking about soil and rock and water, and that there was a more interpretive side to engineering as opposed to just purely crunching numbers. Well, good luck tonight. Thanks very much. Let's welcome carryover champion Ian Campbell Fraser and challenger tonight, <laughs> Catherine Jones. Keep it's our letters game first. When you combine at least three vowels, four consonants and 30 seconds on the clock, what do you have? Well, indeed, it's the letters game. And uh, Ian, can you select first for us, please? I'll start with a consonant, please. Thank you. Let's start the day with a C. And a vowel, please. A. Another vowel. <laughs> o. A consonant. I just got kicked by a S. A consonant. T. A consonant. G. A vowel, please. A. A consonant. T. And a, another vowel to end things. And lastly, E. Thank you, Lily. Our first 30 seconds of the night. And the letters are always your strong suit. How did so you go there? Uh, just six for this one, thanks. And uh, what about you, Catherine? I only got five. What was your five? Coast. And your six, Ian? Agates. Agates. A little bit of jewellery. Yeah, actually a little bit of um, geology too with yeah. coast and agates. Uh, obviously, Slow agates down. being a longer word gets the points. The six, no troubles there. I tried to build a building on these coasts and agates with cottages as a possible eight. <laughs> Very nice one too, David. But six points for Ian to start the night. Rolling along into our next letter game, and uh, Catherine, oh, no. it's now your turn to make the first selection for you. May I please have a consonant, Lily? You may. Thank you, Catherine. Starting with an F. And another consonant. R. And another consonant. D. And one more consonant. C. And a vowel. Shuffle it e. And another vowel. I. <laughs> and a consonant. T. And one more vowel. E. And finally a consonant. Thanks, Lily. And last letter S. Here's the clock. That kind 
just kicked me. I'm sorry, Tim, I didn't know you were there. You seemed to select very carefully as you went through there. How did you go? I uh, got a seven letter word. Excellent work. Ian? A uh, seven for me as well. Thank you. Let's start with your seven, Ian. I had credits. And yours, Catherine? I had the same. Okay, if you could just verify with each other. Thank you very much. Lots of credit here. Yeah, I'm glad those books didn't collide, otherwise we'd have a credit crunch. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. No, well done. Fine for seven there. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here with the two eight letter words that I found. The first is discreet, D-I-S-C-R-E-E-T, -E which means wise or judicious. And the other is discreet, which ends with E-T-E, -E, which means uh, apart or detached. OK, thank you, David. Seven points each. Very strong scoring for both Catherine and Ian. It's time to get on to some numbers, our first numbers game for the night. And uh, Ian, would you select some for us, please? Sure. Uh, Lily, I'll have two large numbers and four small, please. Two large and four small. Thank you, Ian. And starting with the smalls, eight, ten, seven and four. And the two large, 25 oh, and 50. And the target rate, 132. Slow down. Thanks, Lily. Let's head for that number. Imagination. Turn. Ian, how close did you get? I got 133. Very nice. What about you, Catherine? As well? Yeah. Excellent. So, start us with your method, please, Ian. Sure. I multiply <laughs> 25 and 4 for 100. 25 by 4 gives you 100. Added the 50 for 150. Slow down. Add the 50 gives you 150. Minus 10 is 140. Minus 10, 140. And minus 7 for 133. Minus 7, 133. <laughs> well done, Ian. Nice, straightforward, logical steps. Catherine, did you use the same method? Completely different. Completely different? Oh, yep. good. That's great to hear. Well, take us through your method, please. Um, I went Slow 10 down. multiplied by 8 is 80. Turn. 10 by 8 is 80. Add the 50 is 130. Add 50 is 130. Uh, and then 7 minus 4 is 3. And add that on. 7 minus 4 is 3. Add that on. 133. Very elegant indeed. A, a lovely solution as well. Two great methods, Lily. Got a different one again. You've got a third great method. <laughs> All right. Uh, show, us, uh, show us where your brain took you. Okay. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 5 by 25 is 125. Add the 8, 133. Very nice and logical as well. And 10 points each for Catherine and Ian. We're heading for our first brief break tonight. And uh, it's word mix time, the first one for you. Lie Canal. And your clue, made between parties. Back after the break. Yeah. 